Corks Red FM. 104 to 106. 106. The team is blessed, really. We, we have quite a number of leaders, you know. Um, you know, since we last spoke, Paul is obviously captain of the Lions and has been captaining Munster very well. Jonica is captain of the Lions. Ron is captain of the Lions. Uh, you know, they've all captained their... Uh, Ron is captain Munster and captain Rhode Ireland. So, um, you know, in Brian's case, he's, he, he brings a lot of experience to it like the other lads would do it, and he's motoring well at the moment. So we just felt it prudent... Um, you know, it's been a long time since we were together, six months, seven months. Uh, so for continuity and for a whole host of reasons, really, it was just felt appropriate to stay with him. Like we dealt with it last year, yeah, we just treat it series by series, yeah. That, that, that helps, which in Brian's case as well then too, it doesn't keep pressure on him for a, a whole year and it allows him just to come in, be captain and, um, you know, then just get on with his game then in um, December and, and uh, December and January. And we see then again come February. He's delighted, and, and, and that is the thing. Um, he's as excited about it as ever, really. Um, he was really keen on it, and, and that's an important part, too, because a captain is its a bit like some of the uh, ancillary jobs that go in. Not alone do you have to play, but you have to uh, feed, you know, give a bit of yourself to somebody else, the other members of the team as well, then, too. And um, he is, you know, it's, if anything, his enthusiasm for the job is growing. And that's, that's a great way to have it because that feeds it, I think, into the team. Uh, again, in this job, I suppose it's just a philosophy. If you wait for the ideal, that'll probably it'll probably never arise. So we look at the part of the glass that would say that uh, John will be fresh when he comes in. We we'll see what happens with the hooker, uh, the props on the other side, Keen Healy, uh, Brett Wilkinson has become eligible. Uh, you know, in, in the last three months, he's been going well with Connacht. Uh, Cham Court has uh, fought his way in well as well in two to um, Ulster. So uh, Mike Ross has, you know, has uh, Mike Ross's game. In fairness to uh, the Leinster coaching staff and the players, has come on a, a ton as well then too. I think since he's come home, so uh, we have options and we'll do what we've always done. We'll we'll give the best man available at any given time uh, an opportunity. I suppose when you represent Ireland, really, that's the thing that you're always looking <coughs> for. You know, it's uh, without being the cliches, you, it's the responsibility that you have when you when you represent Ireland. We're Last year we had uh, one game against the Tri Nations team. It didn't work out so well. We have two of them now in November. Um, you know we'll be playing Australia. Uh, you know they played last weekend. They'll have a game this weekend. You know it'll be our first time together since last March. So uh, we'll be just looking to put in our our best performance and um, and and see how it rolls up against that level of competition. But uh, you know it's something we're looking forward to because it's a it's a new, it's a completely different uh, challenge and uh, that's that, that's a, that's really. I think your question was about the whole in November. Our, our focus really is just on, on Australia. That stood to us in good form last year. That's what we'll do again now as well then too. It's the same as la- this time last year. You know, it's the start of a new season. We haven't played any, so we haven't... Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a complete fresh start. Whether you've been winning or losing the previous season, I don't think really matters. That you c- it might help with a matter of, con- of confidence, but maybe the ex- some people might uh, do a, a little bit on expectation, but that's... That's false and silly, you know. Like if we if we get greedy about the whole thing, uh, nobody's going to enjoy themselves. I think I think the mem- my memory from last year is that uh, we had good fun the whole way along the way. Was that because nobody expected anything? Uh, but the one thing we would expect is that whoever takes the pitch will just give it everything that they have, and um, let's see what happens then at the end of that result. So that, that that's where the expectation would lie, really. The responsibility. I think any time that you're in a position like this, there's a, the the responsibility could be enormous but you just take it as a privilege and, and you just try and do your best with it and, and, and that's, the exact sa- that's the exact same now as it was when I started out the job and I just take it with such pride really that um, it couldn't be any, you know, there's, there's no more responsibility than, than could have been the first day I took the job. You might, you might think that confidence might be up, but confidence is, is, a, very, is a very fickle thing. It's, um, you seem to get, a, I remember Eddie used to talk about getting a bit of momentum. Uh, I suppose the nature of our season is it's, it's there's a challenge in maintaining momentum when there when our fixture list is the way it is at the Southern Hemisphere one is such that uh, one one season uh, sort of rolls into the next is something that Ellen and, and Les myself have talked about quite uh, quite often you know and that they have Super 14 and they they go into their international season whereas ours is uh, you know the traditional Six Nations the November window. So it's uh, it's like it is for the provinces, and and that's probably the challenge of coaching in the in the northern hemisphere. So, it's 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 like a it's like a whole fresh start, and and that's that's the way we're taking it. Corks Red FM one hundred four to one hundred six.